Now let's take a little bit a closer look at the Game Explorer pane. So first of all I'll just uh, expand that pane so we can have a bit of a better look at it. Dragging and clicking, just uh, you can see the board and the notation shrinking uh, as I bring up the Game Explorer pane. And um, so now we've got it, I'm just going to close down the Analysis Explorer, there we go, to uh, give me a bit more space. And you can see I've got loaded at the moment the Top Games database, one of the databases that comes free with Hayax Chess Explorer. Uh, over 35,000 games in this database. So it's quite a large database, it'll take a few seconds to load up first of all, but once you've done that then the actual use of it's very quick indeed. And you can see uh, right away all the games are numbered, the play of the white pieces, their ratings, the black pieces, their ratings, the tournament, the event. Uh, IT just means international tournament. If we scroll down we can see there's lots and lots of different events. The site, the location where it was, round number if applicable, date, result, ECO code, that's Encyclopedia of Chess Openings code, and even the length of the game. Now why these are important is because you can actually sort the database very easily by any one of these criteria. So for instance if we wanted to sort it alphabetically um, by the player of the white pieces, by their name, just click here where it says white, so anywhere in this uh, sort of rectangle, clicking on white, you can see pretty much instantly we have a database now sorted alphabetically. Uh, Michael Adams, obviously the A's right up early at the top and as I scroll down you can see we're going into the A's, in fact I'll scroll down even quicker, we've got the B's, C's, D's, E's and so on like that. You can even scroll by length so if you want to get some really long games you can see them here or by tournament by size anything like that one of the also also uh, one of the features that you might like to look at is using the quick search feature so say we're looking for a particular player we know there are only top players in here so if we search for Adams it'll give us Michael Adams we can just hit return or hit find here and that will give us every game uh, with a player called Adams in this database you can see there's just over a thousand games have appeared and then obviously you can search um, those games, you can click on them play through them uh, as you wish. So there you go, that's uh, how simple and easy it is to use the Game Explorer window and how easy it is to find a particular player.